name is Rosalyn. Before we even get started, make sure you go ahead and like this video, subscribe to my channel, and at the end of the video, I want to get some comments. So I want to hear from y'all. I want to know what y'all think. So anyway, I want to come on here today and I want to talk about airport parking versus parking outside the the um the airport. So normally when I'm traveling, I don't want to inconvenience anybody. I don't want to, uh, you know, have to wait for people. So I'll take my vehicle, me and my husband or me or my, my friends will just take a vehicle to the, um, you know, to like a place where you can park your car and then you fly and come back and get it. So this is what I've learned. And I've been traveling for a few years now. I learned that I've been doing it wrong. I've been doing it wrong, y'all. I thought I knew everything. I thought that I was budget friendly. I thought I was saving money. I thought I was saving time. I was wrong. Okay. So little did I know that group hunt is not always the best place to save money. <laughs> it is a good tool to go to, though. I'm not knocking group hunt. I love group hunt. I, I look on group hunt all the time because I need ideas anyway. But anyway, so... I always did park and fly because group hunt, they always had like a really good deal on a park and fly, uh, I thought, you know, and then I checked out airport parking, parking right beside the terminal. You don't have to be bused, you know, shuttled to the airport. You don't have to wait. You don't have anything. You can drive directly into the airport, park in the terminal and walk just across the street to get on your plane for less money before y'all start going to the group hunt and the other little third party um parking plot places make sure you check with your airport because i ended up saving okay i don't even know how much money i saved but um i did a comparison I think that um, I had like a park and fly a group hunt I was about to buy and I was going to have to buy two because it wasn't enough days. We were going to be gone for nine days and I need a nine day parking. And I think I had, I was trying to figure out how I'm going to do park and fly for nine days. So I was going to buy a group hunt for five days and then buy another group hunt. Uh, no, I was going to buy a group hunt for seven days and then buy another group hunt for uh, the, a couple of more days. And I was just like, oh, okay, that's equaling up to like $140 to park for nine days. Jesus, I was really, you know, I was like, I don't even want to park in the airport anymore. I must not have to be inconvenienced or inconvenience somebody to take me there and come and get me. But I was like, okay, let me just compare it to just how much is the airport parking? So I get on the website. I check the prices out. Is this the longer you stay there, the more it's discounted for nine days, y'all. Nine days at the airport that you do not have to wait on a shuttle bus to come and get you and take you to the airport. You just park and you walk right into the airport to give them your luggage and to check into your plane or whatever. It was only $99. I think, okay, so it was like a $40 save. I say $40 because I was there for nine days. I did airport parking. I didn't have to wait for a shuttle bus or anything. We parked. We walked across the street. We were in the air. We were already in our uh, terminal. I wish I would have knew about this a long time ago. So before y'all even, you know, just go and try to, you know, find a resort, you know, resort to a third party um, parking, check your airport first. I mean, you can always get dropped off and wait for people. But if you don't want to be inconvenienced or you don't want to inconvenience somebody else, definitely check into your airport parking situation because they have several. Like it could have been cheaper than $99 because they have airport parking inside the airport for DFW um, Airport in Dallas. They have like a lot of options, but we wanted to be directly in front of the terminal. So it was $99. I think it would have been $76 for nine days. If we would have just parked somewhere else and then wait, shuttled five minutes, but it's still on the premises. It's still at the airport. So I was like, this is such a good, I'll never go to a third party again unless they raise their prices, but it was just so convenient. And then when we got off the plane, we just 
walked across the street again, got right in our vehicle, and we was off. Like, it's perfect. I just want to share with y'all that there, you know, it's a whole bunch of options when you're traveling or whatever, but do not knock the airport because I always thought it was more expensive and it's not. It, it, it was cheaper this time. So check with them first before you go to a third party because you could be, you know, convenienced more because you don't have to get there as early and worry about traffic and shuttling and all that extra stuff. You already at the airport. You didn't park. You good. Okay, y'all. Thank y'all so much for watching. I will talk to y'all later. And again, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Like this video. And I need to hear some comments, y'all. Engage with me. I want to be friends. Let's be friends. All right. Bye, y'all.